Your ally here attempted to match his power against mine, and paid the price. Now he shall serve me by slaughtering you. Get up, little red worm, and destroy them. Flame! Death! Destruction! Cower mortals before the wrath of Lord... No! I must fight this! Alex Straza! Welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is Nathan welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in world of Warcraft today's adventure of out of bounds leads us to Blackwing Lair the classic raid and uh, I gotta say you know I uh, I really missed all you guys <laughs> I missed every single one of you uh, it's been a couple weeks and uh, it's good to be back recording. Uh, I had to take a little bit of a break to figure out some life stuff, but uh, we're all good to go now. And I'm actually recording off a new computer again. So I got something a little more affordable and uh, it's still a nice setup. Got a 70, 4070 Ti Super and a good uh, CPU. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna jump straight into the recording here and I'm excited to be back. Uh, I gotta be honest with you all. I am having a little bit of a trouble completing the War Within dungeons just because um, <laughs> uh, I was going to say Riot. Blizzard has completely future-proof dungeons and raids for Out of Bounds and maybe I'm just sucking at it. So I just want to give you all a heads up. If you're planning on doing Out of Bounds in the War Within and maybe you all have figured out all the dungeons and raids before me, but they are really tough. I mean, they put a ton of death barriers, a ton of death walls, and they really don't want people getting out of bounds. So I'm still working on more within content. So please bear with me as I continue to research and hopefully have a lot of breakthroughs on those. Um, I am working on one currently, which I've already got out of bounds a few times, which is pretty stable, but I keep dying because <laughs> I run into death walls. So it's just going to be a learning curve. So, but anyways, guys, welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth with me. We have already taken care of Nefarian and uh, we're going to be breaking out of bounds. Now this out of bounds credit goes fully to true hero in the ATN discord community. He was the one to find this glitch. He spent a lot of time in this place and I got to thank him for it. And eventually we did find a breakthrough together. Um, so where I'm currently at is actually in the last boss room after you fight Netherian. Um, we are on the balcony overlooking the burning steps and, molt, you know, all of that. The Searing George and, you know, all that good stuff. So I am by the throne over here. And if you actually take a left after getting off the throne, you're going to make your way into this little hole in the wall over here. There's actually two. There's one over here and there's one here. You're going to make the way on the one on the left on the very last end here. And uh, you're gonna be going through the gate, come all the way down and it's gonna be right here. Now, a lot of you are probably familiar with this raid. I mean, it is a classic raid. Now we have found one spot where you can barely clip through the wall and then you can keep jumping through and that's gonna get you out of bounds. Now, I'm gonna demonstrate it here. It's not easy. I might not get it right away. So please be patient with me, but uh, essentially what I'm doing is I'm going to be doing my bike route drinking horn. I'm going to make myself big and I am currently also in vengeance. So you want to have that infernal strike. Once you come over here, you're going to want to line yourself up. Um, essentially you see this like hole or like crack in the wall with all the debris and all this here. There's a spot where you can jump into and I believe it's like right here. Uh, I don't think that was far enough in. No. Okay, let's try that again. We want to get 
basically clipped into the wall. If we can clip into the wall, we should be able to get it. Ah, uh, we missed again. Okay, that's okay. So this, like I told you, it may take a minute. Essentially, we're going to get in here to where our dude's like sticking out of the wall. And then like right over here, you can then jump through the wall again. Uh, it, like I said, it does take a moment. So I may do a little bit of editing here to have you all watch me as I do this over and over and over again. But I do want to try to get this for you so I can show you. Um, and you may have to kind of line up your infernal strike. Did I get through? Nah. But do be careful. You can actually get stuck in here as well. And what's so sad is I was just doing this earlier. <laughs> I literally had it. Literally had it. Um, just like five minutes ago. So we're going to keep attempting this until we get it. And um, once we get it, I will be right back because I don't want to have to have you all watch me do this. But I will show you what I'm talking about once I do get it. So be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. And this is exactly what I am talking about. We have officially clipped in through the wall. I wish I could show you exactly where I'm at. I don't think I can because I'm already clipped through. But I can kind of show you if I look down. I'm just like barely sticking into the wall. So you basically just keep jumping into this corner. And eventually you will get it. But you'll see this right here. I am my dude is clipping through the wall. And I believe you can just jump right over here. I'm out of range. You're out of range. Okay, I'm out of range apparently. I need there is a closer. spot over here where you should be able to jump I'm and i range. and i'm so sad because i just had it earlier to get closer. uh it's and maybe not all right i understand we're too far away i need to get closer um let's see here you should be able to get it though there's like a spot so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna keep on clicking here right there there we go we got it we officially have gotten through woohoo all right, I was, uh, <laughs> I was really worried about that. And so there you go. That is how to do the glitch. Um, this time though, what I did is I actually jumped into here and then I jumped again and it allowed me to finally kind of clip through into here and then it allowed me to go forward. That is what you need to do to get out of bounds in. That's the only place we have found. Uh, there might be others. You guys might've found somewhere, but what we're going to do is now we have switched back to Havoc. We're going to fly out this way and we're going to go out and we flew back in. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. Okay. Well, <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, I, I guess I should have practiced this more, huh? That is totally on me guys. That is hilarious though. So we got out of bounds, but now we're just slowly going through here. Okay, well, I will be right back again. Give me a second, and we're going to have to perform the glitch, and I'm so sad right now. Gosh dang it. Okay, give me one sec. Guys, we have officially made it out. This is exciting. <laughs> wow, that took forever. If you guys ever do this raid and you glitch out of bounds, good luck. Um, I, I really do wish you good luck, so... Let's enjoy the glide down and then we will go take a look around the uh, surrounding map. So be right back. All right, my friends, we are officially out of bounds in Blackwing Lair. Oh my gosh, that took a minute, didn't it? <laughs> um, pretty crazy to get out here. And uh, this is exciting because we're finally in the, I believe, right? The burning step side of the map in this area here. So as you can tell, a uh, really awesome shot of the outside of the raid. Now, to see a little better, we're actually going to take a Sneaky Bright Potion. There we go. And we're going to clear things up. Now you guys can get a way better view of the surrounding area outside the raid, which is really exciting. So as you can see, the balcony and everything that you fight Netherian on um, is right up here. And you can tell he's facing out that way. So you do have a pretty gigantic gigantic dynamic gigantic map uh to explore here which i'm super excited to explore and also over the weekend or these past two weeks i got a new mount so i got a new cat to ride around on pretty cool huh so i got it from the shop i think it was on sale for like 10 bucks so i was like yeah i gotta pick that up so definitely got a new mount and uh, we're gonna go ride our cat around the uh burning steps so let's go take a look around one thing i'm not a fan of though 
is they do get rid of the music out here which is really sad and i thought that they would keep it so it's like really eerie and quiet so we're just gonna have to um i don't know walk and talk and look at things like we normally do but there's no music so and maybe the music will start again who knows as we make our way around here they do keep all the old props and everything outside the map we got like these dead look at these flies those are pretty detailed flies look at those things <laughs> i never <laughs> i never you know i don't think i've actually ever noticed them those are pretty look at those things they're pretty detailed <laughs> which i thought was pretty neat uh all right so we're gonna keep making our way out this way now over here is the edge of the map now you're never supposed to see this far out right because if you're looking out from the balcony it just kind of gives that effect that like the mountains go forever and it's shrouded by the cloud and everything but here's the edge of the world and we did make it um what i'm excited to go show all of you is actually the side of ellen forest and red ridge and all that they do keep some of that out there like that way so we're gonna make our way out this way but we're gonna go climb up the mountain here and i want to go show you guys exactly what is over these mountain lines and uh what's over the sky limit here are we okay yeah we're still in havoc good so oh poor cat i didn't mean to make the cat uh do the meow thing Oh, okay, we're already sucking here. Because we gotta get back in our routine of doing out of bounds. So as I was coming back after a two-week break, um, it's a little bit of a you know, you have to like learn to do all the tricks and stuff again. So bear with me here if I kind of suck moving around. And we should be able to get back on our cat here. There we go. And we can climb up these mountains. And I want to go show you guys what's exactly behind here if you've ever wondered what exactly is outside of Blackwing Lair in the surrounding area. So, as you can see, nothing. <laughs> it just kind of ends, and it gives you, like, this awesome effect of the mountains that are just, you know, here, but not really here. And here you go. It's just Edge of the World over here. So Blizzard does do a great job of masking everything and making the world seem alive in the surrounding mountain areas, but there's nothing really out here. And we get this awesome shot of me riding the cat on nothing. Oh! Oh, shoot. <laughs> I love how every time we dismount, our cat's like, <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's like extreme. There we go. All right, do be careful. What happened there? So for those of you who are maybe new to the channel or you're new to Out of Bounds, um, be super careful exploring uh, the edge of the map. What happened there is essentially I had hit the edge of the world. So what I call that is the, or what we call it is like the no play game space, right? So you have the whole map here. Right out here, you have like void. There's nothing. Like this is the map here. So when you get to a certain point on the edge, you can actually clip into what I call the unknown, the void, the space in this here, because there's nothing there. So your character can't walk you know right now we can walk because we're on you know ground right that's been modeled and all that there's nothing out here so when you jump into this space of void there's nothing to fall on so your dude just does or your character i should say just does like this falling steady animation and the only way that i have found to get out of it is metamorphosing out or doing an infernal strike onto the ground near you sometimes that doesn't even work and you just completely get stuck and then you got to open up a blizzard support ticket and they have to move you. So do be careful of doing out of bounds exploration. There are some uh, glitching dangers to it, unfortunately. So now let's keep going along the edge here because I want to get to over there. So let's head out this way. We're going to do some cool flips here. I love that new um, vengeful retreat they added in that uh, in the talents, if you guys didn't know for demon hunters, under your talent tree, there is a, right here, it's evasive action. Your vengeful retreat can cast a second time within three seconds. So that's how I'm able to do double flips now. In the beta of War Within, you were able to just completely like spam it over and over and over again for like 10 flips and it was insane and I think they fixed it. 
So um, I remember I was playing with Hero in the War Within beta, and we were in the... I think it was the... What was the uh, dungeon? I think it's the Rookery. Yeah, the Rookery. And we were outside of bounds, and he was showing me like all these flips he could do. It was pretty cool. We were flipping like six times in the air. But I don't think you can do the flip times anymore. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. So anyways, let's get back to the video. Um, you can see here that they do have some of the art going into the Elwyn Forest area. And that should actually be this on the map here. As we can see, we can see the Searing George right here. And then if we come down to the Burning Steps, we are like right around, I think over here, going to Elwyn Forest. So it's like this area right here, uh, which is really neat. And they do keep some of this here. And what's really awesome is if you actually make your way into here, you can see all the, all the water's gone, obviously. Well, except for the waterfall in the distance. But you can actually go into a part of Elwyn Forest. And they do keep the little house up there by the waterfall. Now, you can actually get up to that house. It is kind of a pain in the butt to get up there. Um, but yeah, feel free to fully explore. If you walk into that house, it will actually play like you're in Elwyn Forest. And uh, it's really neat though. So I love this shot of like being out of bounds. And so I'm gonna take a screenshot real quick cause I, I don't know, I just think it's really cool. All right, we're gonna jump back on our cat and we're gonna keep making our way around the map cause we still got a lot to explore outside of bounds here. We're gonna make our way across the mountain. But yeah, um, definitely do go explore this area. now. If you go back there, there's nothing really left. It just kind of goes a little farther back and then the edge of the world happens. But it is really neat to see that they keep the waterfall and actually, yeah, forgot. They keep the little camp uh, site down here as well, if you see. So pretty cool. Oh, by the way, I don't think I turned up my graphics for my raid and battleground settings. So we're going to turn that all the way up to ultra. And there we go. I totally forgot to do that. So we're going to turn those graphic settings all the way up as well because we are recording in 4K as always. And uh, we want to make sure that we're getting the uh, best quality here as we're going around these OBs, right? So, all right, let's go head back down into the mountainous area. You can kind of see like this really neat like lava effect going on down here. I want to go show you guys this. I always thought that was kind of cool. Um, so because everything gets unloaded in out of bounds, like water and lava and, and particles and whatever you want to call it, uh, you don't see that stuff in the out of bounds, but you do have like these little remnants of what's there. So you can see that the lava is supposed to be here, but because the lava isn't loaded in completely, there's just like these animation effects that just stay around. That's like bubbling lava, but there is no lava there. So you can actually, but do be careful. Um, just because there is nothing there doesn't mean you can't DC. So I would definitely be careful jumping into places like this uh, because it, the game might still render like you're in water or you're in lava. Oh, by the way. So, um, but yeah, do, do be careful of jumping into water and lava. But, you know, let's go walk this way. Let's go test it out. Um, I'm curious to see if we're going to get stuck or not. Okay, we're not. We're good. We're good. So that probably means you can walk that way, but just always do be careful because we know, as we all know, going into water and lava will prevent you from um, going forward. And a lot of times it will DC you because your character, those of you who are also new to the channel, uh, if you're doing out of bounds exploration for the first time, your character doesn't know how to react when there's nothing to swim. So in out of bounds, um, your character has what's called a swimming animation when you go into um, water or lava or whatever well there is no more swimming in the water because the water is never supposed to be there out of bounds to begin with so your character goes into like this it doesn't know what to do so it just freaks out and the game crashes and you get dc you can load back in and you're able to save yourself sometimes but yeah that's what happens uh it's just like that your character doesn't know how to go into a swimming animation when there's nothing there so all right we're gonna go into this little hut or this building i should say I said little hut, but this thing's massive. And you can see that everything is loaded in here. So that's kind of neat that they keep this here. So we're going to go walk back out this way. And we're just going to do a quick little 180 turnaround here. 
and uh, we're gonna get back on our mount and we're gonna go check out the other surrounding area so we're actually gonna go head back out that way and we're gonna go see what's below underneath the uh, last boss fight room that you find on the balcony and all there so we're gonna head up this mountain if we can and we're gonna make our way over here so let's go head up this way and there should be a walking path here that we should be able to do And let's see here. I think we can get up this way through the burning tree. And we should be able to walk up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can walk up the path. And we should be able to get over the mountain here. Um. Okay, this might take a little bit of trickery, but I think we could do it. We're just going to glide up. Okay, no. All right, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Oh, and here we go. Now we're on the Searing George side, which is freaking awesome. Now, I don't know if they keep the entrance to... Um... Oh, my mind's drawing a blank. What is the famous... Everybody hated... Blackrock Deaths. All right, there we go. Or I hated it. I don't know. I hated going through that dungeon because it was so long. And then you get lost in it. When I was growing up, I remember doing that, and uh, it was so confusing to do. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that dungeon. I don't think a lot of people were, but maybe you were. Maybe you liked Black Rock Deaths. I thought it was a fun dungeon, but you just get lost easily inside of it. All right, let's go take a look at some of the underground here. Um, now, they do keep some of the, the some of the particles out here, like the statues and some of the objects, which is really cool. Oh, and there goes Red Ridge Mountains in the distance. So let's actually go head over that way first, and then we'll make our way back through Searing George and then around that way. But you can get this really awesome shot of the final boss room and the balcony. So um, one thing that's really interesting to note is um, sometimes Blizzard, they do this thing without a bounds where you're never supposed to be out here to begin with, right? So they kind of give you like this smoke and mirror um, raid and dungeon feel of you can see that there's nothing outside of the raid, right? Like there's no walls. There's no you can't actually see the raid itself. So when you go outside, they just put up nothing. I mean, there, there's nothing there until you actually go into the raid and go back inside of it. Um, so it, it just I don't know. It's neat to see that like there's nothing here at all. So I know I just wanted to point that out as you can see, because normally right here is the entire raid, but you just can't see it from the outside because there's never supposed to be anything there to begin with. And uh, I don't know. I just thought that was always kind of neat. All right. So we're going to go head up the path here into Red Ridge Mountains, and we're going to go see if anything is left out here. Hopefully there is, because that would be kind of neat to see a out of bounds Red Ridge. But I think the map just kind of ends over here, unfortunately. But you can kind of get the Red Ridge effect. Yeah, okay, so it just kind of ends here. Which kind of sucks. I thought that there would be at least some Red Ridge. I wish they would have kept a little more out here. You know, there was there, there's so much to look at to begin with that I think Red Ridge would have been a really great addition to the out of bounds scenery that you're never supposed to see. But I'm not a game developer. I didn't develop these maps, so not my call but I definitely would have added a little more flair outside. But I get it. Even, you know, we also got to remember that back in the day, uh, classic, you know, the computers weren't as strong or powerful like we do have now, where I'm, you know, recording in 4K and all the graphics are in ultra. Like, you know, <laughs> people didn't have those complex computers like they did like today. And uh, so they had to save as much resource and memory and all that that they uh, could as possible especially doing raids and dungeons um so you can see why so here's the other edge of the world going into red ridge so unfortunately they don't keep that much left so we're just gonna head back this way now i wish there was music i uh it kind of sucks that you can't hear the music anymore i wish that there was some um, but I get it. You know, you're never supposed to be out here to begin with. So Blizzard isn't going to waste time to put music ambience. Now, when you do go into certain homes or you do go into certain buildings, it does play the music. All right. Uh, let's go head back into Searing George. 
and let's go take a look up these mountains here on the right side I want to go see if there's anything on this side of the mountains and I don't think there is and I think this is also the edge of the world but I'm definitely curious so let's go check it out unfortunately I don't think there's going to be anything up here but I'm, I do want to go see if uh, for instance they do keep anything and I was right yeah they don't do anything so this is another edge of the world here so, all right, well, now we know that there's nothing here and uh, we can head back down into the Syrian George again and we can go take a look at the surrounding, you know, mining facility or whatever they call it down here. For those of you who have stuck around this far, I want to thank you. I know this is a long video, uh, but there is a ton to see. Now... <laughs> I am kind of afraid to go down into the depths here because a lot of times, for whatever reason, Blizzard will save resources. They'll load in this whole giant map, but they'll they won't load in the ground underground area. So if I were to drop down into here, I think that I would DC. So I'm not going to do it, but I am going to show you guys. Well, maybe I'll do it here in a minute as we let's go explore the rest of everything else. And then we'll go try to drop down there. Now, what's kind of funny is uh, because Searing George is next to Dun Moreau, uh, you can see some snow on the mountains leading up into it over there. And uh, I am curious to see if they keep any of the cavern area below us here. And that's where I do want to go explore, but I think that we might DC. So I didn't want to go down there yet and have to get, you know, and then get stuck. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they do keep the cave over here, but it is like caved in. I never understood why they do that. You know, that, that never made sense to me. It's like, why have the cave to begin with if you're just going to fill it in? Um, I'm sure we could get in there if we wanted to, but I don't want to waste the time. Because it would be too difficult and, uh, you know, we want to go see the rest of the map. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, this is actually a... Ooh, look at this creepy thing going on here. Part of a, I'm, I'm assuming part of a quest line. You know, I haven't quested in the Searing George in a long time, but if... I think this is a base, correct? Like... Maybe someone correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't this area supposed to be like a flight path and like it's like a camp settlement that you go to? Um, and there's like fire, you know, a little campsite where you can take a flight path and all that. Um, I don't know. I haven't I haven't done Searing George questing in forever. So correct me if I'm wrong. And it looks like we're coming to full circle here, guys. So we're just going to walk right over here real quick. I will show you the other side of the map. And as you can see, it does go pretty far back here. Oh, wow. Actually, I never knew all of this was back here. Oh, my goodness. Look at you can see like a bunch of snow that's not loaded. Or actually, I think it's just unmodeled. Or no, it's modeled, but <laughs> I was going to say untextured. <laughs> For all you old school ATN fans. Um, he said it. He said the word. Hate that said untextured, get him. Uh oh, actually, this goes a lot farther back here than I thought it would. I didn't know this was all back here. This is really neat. So this is just all um unfinished modeled nothingness. So wow, this map is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Can we head up this way? Let's go out here and let's go see what we can find, and then uh, we'll look to end the video. So thank you all for those of you that have stuck around this far. I know it was a long one, but uh, I thought this would be a really fun map to do coming back. So they do keep a lot of this out here, but there is nothing, unfortunately. So um, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to head back this way. And then we're going to walk out this way and actually we're gonna walk out this way and then we're gonna fly over there because i want to get on top of here but i don't know if i can so i'm hoping there's like a path a walkway path or whatever back here 
And I think there is right here. So I think we can get up. Yeah, okay. Awesome. I'm going to jump back on the mountain real quick. And then we're going to come down here. And there we go. We got up here. Nice. Really awesome. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see what was back here. And it doesn't look like too much. Um, but I think we're doing a full circle here. And actually, we already went over there, right? Because that was Elwyn Forest. And oh, look at that. They do keep a cave back here as well. But it is caved in. No pun intended. So we can't actually walk in there. But there is all of this back here. And they do keep the uh, summoning thing back here. So let's go fly down here. Let's go check this out, and then we will uh, end the video here, guys. But there goes Ellen Forest, quote-unquote, that we came from. And I totally forgot that this was back here. So let's go check this out. They do keep the whole altar thing, which is pretty creepy. And I love the floating lava that's supposed to be up there, but there is nothing. Look at all of this. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Love finding things like this outside of bounds, you know creepy altar thing um i don't remember exactly what this altar was used for but i'm assuming there's a warlock quest line that you do is if i remember correctly um and i think this is where you get one of your demons right i don't know i could be wrong but maybe someone can also correct me on that as well and um but yeah so that's really neat to see Okay, guys. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for those of you that are coming back again. Uh, there's going to be more Out of Bounds content coming your way. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm hoping to find out what's going on with the War Within Dungeons and Raids. I know that uh, it's a little bit of a... It's pretty tricky. And Blizzard has done a great job of excluding us Out of Bounders from the game. They've really put up a lot of death walls and really padded their dungeon and raids this time. So it's definitely going to be a, a little bit of a trick to find out how to get out of some of these newer dungeon and raids. I'm excited to see. Um, maybe you guys can share some of your secrets with me. <laughs> I would love that. And uh, I could definitely make a video on it and give you full credit. And uh, But yeah, guys. Anyways, thank you for joining me for Blackwing Lair. I'm happy to be back. And as always, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.